So how's the diet going? Well, the diet's going as good as I could hope, I guess. I'll tell you this much, my stomach is extremely unhappy with me. It's basically gotten to the point of where it's cramping nonstop. And then whenever I eat, it's just like, why didn't you fill me? No, by no means am I starving myself. I know everybody was just like, well, don't starve yourself, don't starve yourself. I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. I have cut down my intake substantially. That's the difference. And a lot of people love throwing the ideas out. It's too early for that. I got to do what I'm doing right now and basically be able to handle this before I can try and take on something else. It's frustrating. It's frustrating being in a battle and then someone wants to change your weapon in the middle of the battle. I don't know how to shoot that gun. I know how to shoot this gun. But it'll be okay. People mean well. But whenever someone tries, it just instantly pisses me off. Ugh. It's so easy to make me mad right now, which is not normal. Normally, it's like very, very hard to annoy me and lately it's been very very easy but you know what else is easy the fat and happy show everybody let's get to it hello and welcome back everybody to the fat and happy show come on and take off your pants and let's have ourselves a bowl of cereal well today yeah i'm not having a bowl of cereal but you, on the other hand, you're finally going to get your milk. You need to learn patience. He has been nonstop smacking my arm for like the past 10 minutes, going, when do I get my milk? When do I get my milk? I wish I could have some cereal, but unfortunately, that is unneeded calories right now. And someday I will return to it. But not right now. Not today. I'm doing good. My mind is weak right now. But I gotta persevere. So let's go ahead and distract myself with the holidays of today, where we got quite a few to go through. Starting off one, it's I Love Horses Day. Who doesn't love a pony? Number two, it's Be a Dork Day. Be a Dork. We had Embrace Your Inner Nerd Day, and now we have Be a Dork Day. It was a be weird. Number three, it's Tapioca Day. I don't care. Rice or pearls? Your choice. Me, I'm more on the pearl side. Number four. It is Gummy Worm Day, which I think is a pretty good day. Gummy Bears, I like a little bit more, but the Gummy Worms are good too. And then number five, Respect Canada Day. I Is there any day where we don't respect Canada? I feel like Canada is one of those that like, has done nothing wrong. So make sure you look up north and you say good job up there, Great bacon and maple. Good, good job. That's all you're good for. Now for the sad news of the day where we have Grant Imahara. The guy from Mythbusters who I think everyone would pick as the third best out of all the cast of Mythbusters. Just behind Adam and Jamie has passed away. It is very unfortunate because he kind of went out in a way that's kind of ironic. Grant ended up losing his life due to a brain aneurysm. And I find it interesting that the gift that he had in life and that he used so much and so well was the thing that actually took him out of the world. The sad part is, is that he was only 49 years old and he did not get to do as much as he could have done. And probably the best thing that I know that he did, in my opinion, was creating the co-host for Craig Ferguson. The main basis that I do the show around, I, I love Craig Ferguson so much, um, and then I also love Jeff as co-host, and that was made by by Grant. But Grant, thank you for everything that you did. You will be missed. And now for the good news slash weird news of today, where we have Burger King being a hero in a way that we never asked for. They are now feeding all of their cows lemongrass in an attempt to lower their methane emissions. Yes, Burger King is stopping their cows from farting. 
I can't write this stuff, people. But yes, Burger King is doing a huge campaign right now talking about how they're now feeding their cows lemongrass in order to lower the methane emissions to lower greenhouse gas emissions. And they're hoping a bunch of other restaurants will do this as well. And the purpose of this is if they were to do that, cows produce apparently one third of all greenhouse gases. And that seems a bit substantial, but beef is consumed quite a bit. So... I kind of don't doubt it. But it also makes me wonder, if I was to go into like a milk plant, or if I was to go into like a beef raising factory, like, how bad does it smell in there? How much do they actually fart? And why of all things lemongrass? Like, would that help a human stop farting? You gotta ask these questions, people. But last, we have some other questions to ask in the form of the dad joke of the day. Where, of course, it is just a simple question. What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? Why is the rum gone? I'm 80. AKA, I'm 80. Or I'm 80. That's really dumb. It is stupid. It is a very stupid joke. And it is what it is. It's, it, it's probably the worst dad, dad joke that I've ever told. I'm not proud of that one. But you know what I am proud of? I'm proud of the pet photo of the day where we have Franklin. And this is the photo that was submitted, but I got a better close-up photo of Franklin because Franklin's got a little bit of a story. Franklin was kind of found by me at work where he was outside underneath some bread trays. I, I almost stepped on him. And he was just, he was so small. He was like this little big. He was so tiny. And we still don't know how he got there there because there's a lot of concrete around him but he got there and we were like oh honey it's like 90 degrees today you are going to die if we do not save you so one of my friends went and got a tupperware dish ended up putting him in there with a rock and some water and we then went ahead and did a rescue in association with bailey where bailey was able to hook him up with a new home but franklin is absolutely adorable and i'm hoping that he is very very happy with his new home i'm sure he is but alas that brings us into the two cents moment of the day now is the part of the show where kyle gives his two cents in day to day life we ask a ton of questions or at least we should most conversation is based around questions and then providing answers to those questions but when in a casual conversation with somebody, you should not be afraid to ask the deeper questions. And what I mean by that is you can ask someone, how was your day? What did you have for dinner? What did blah 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 and blah blah blah? But maybe you should ask some more obscure questions. One of my favorite most obscure questions is what is your earliest childhood memory? I know my earliest childhood memory that I can pinpoint a date to. It was earlier than three years old. I remember that I used to run around on the kitchen tables as a child, even though my parents told me not to, but it was such a joy. And I still remember to this day. And I remember almost falling off that table and proving my parents' point. <laughs> but then other people had many other stories of what their earliest childhood would be. And although it's not a question that I needed to ask, I didn't need to know what the childhood memories were, it's still something interesting. And you learn more about a person the more that you ask. So next time that you're in a casual conversation with someone, maybe potentially in a dating conversation, think of some obscure questions. If you ask a more obscure question, you might get a bigger reaction out of the person that you're asking. You never know. And this is, it's fun for me to kind of do it. I treat most conversations in life, no matter who it is. It can be someone really, really casual, or it can be someone like a vendor at the store. I will ask some obscure questions. And I have found out some really interesting facts in life on different things. Uh, with some different vendors, I've learned that, like, not all have commission. I've learned that... Uh, some people own routes of where, like, you own, like, this section of the country, 
and then you can pay people to run your route for different road for different stores. I've learned so much about how businesses work that I never even knew existed. And then I've also learned so much about people. Like I've learned stuff that they don't even truly realize themselves about themselves, like different fears and phobias. And it's just interesting because we don't even ask ourselves some of these obscure questions. And once you do, you kind of come to revelations about yourself. So even ask yourself some obscure questions. You might figure out some stuff about yourself that even you're like, hmm. But the more obscure, the better. It may get some reactions like, why don't you be asking that? But you might be getting some stuff that maybe they wanted to talk about and they've never just been asked. Let's keep the conversations interesting, people. But that is going to do it for this episode of the Fat and Happy Show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll be back here for Thursday's episode. Oh, good night. Oh, oh, oh.